Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We all know that the Israeli authorities have been persecuting Palestinians ever since their establishment, and they also persecute any peace-seeking activist in Israel, Jewish Israelis. However, in a recent attempt, they have formed a new special unit to chase international sympathizers with the Palestinian cause. Now, Israel previously assassinated many international sympathizers with Palestine, including reporters, journalists, and activists. And most recently, during the genocide in Gaza, they have assassinated many aid workers who were foreign. However, what's different about this is now that they have a special unit to target international sympathizers with Palestine. So the Israeli newspaper Yediot Ahronot on their website, they published on the 16th of April an article about this unit that was formed by the Israeli Minister of National Security, Itamar Ben Gvir, one of the most radical racist figures in Israeli politics. And I wanted to share with you the details in that article. It stated that the Minister of National Security recently worked to establish a special mechanism in the district police station under his command which will work against left-wing activists in the West Bank. The team includes a number of detectives from the Israeli Defense Forces who work in cooperation with officials from the Immigration Police, the Ministry of Interior, etc. Its stated goal is to close a circle and locate those activists who, according to them, are causing damage to security and stability in the area. They continued, This is a model we built and its role is to respond to three main things. First, foreign citizens who come here from all over the world straight to the territories and create provocations against IDF soldiers in different places. Second, in front of tourists who come here under the guise of a visit but arrive at the same places of friction in Judea and Samaria in reference to the West Bank. And third, in front of Israeli citizens who confront IDF soldiers in the various locations. This mechanism has been operating for two weeks and people have been arrested, explained a security official. During a discussion of the subcommittee of the Foreign Defense Committee on Jewish Affairs chaired by MK Tzvi Sukkot from the Religious Zionism Party that took place about a month ago, the commander of the Yamar Shai Avishai Mu'allem revealed that 50% of the complaints of left-wing activists against the IDF and settlers were false complaints. In the past, during the time of Minister Gilad Erdan, it was also decided to act against human rights activists who came to Israel. But this time it is clear that the mechanism was established in response to the sanctions imposed on settlers by the U.S. and various countries in Europe, according to Minister Ben Gvir, because of information passed on by activists. So clearly, they had these attempts before and they were actively looking uh, to catch and arrest anyone coming from abroad. However, this time they designated a special unit for them that will ramp up any action against people who they claim to be provocating and destabilizing. And note before I continue with the other details of this article that these people are simply people who are coming from abroad and witnessing what the apartheid state does to the Palestinian people, in many cases only documenting what's happened similarly to what they do with reporters from the West Bank, Palestinians to be specific, who actually go and confront the military and settlers against their aggression against the Palestinians, in many cases after them being attacked and harassed by the settlers and many of them lose their lives as well and get arrested. They continued, the aforementioned mechanism has already started working. On Thursday, about a week and a half ago, 
Two foreigners with American citizenship were arrested for questioning on suspicion of interfering with IDF soldiers during a large-scale exercise. Together with them, two well-known Israeli left-wing activists were arrested who were active partners in the interference with the military exercise. The foreign nationals were released in exile from all of Judea and Samaria for two weeks and deposited their passports at the station. While the left-wing activists were arrested and later it was decided to keep them away from the West Bank for 60 days. About two weeks ago, two foreigners, a British and a French woman, were spotted entering the security area of the Mitzpeyair settlement, an area where it is forbidden for them to stay according to the order. Since the establishment of the Agricultural Farms Project, there have been frequent conflicts in all areas of Judea and Samaria, especially in the south of Mount Hebron, Shiloh and Binyamin, in the center of the Jordan Valley and around Nablus and in Samaria. Among other things, there were quite few clashes between activists and the people of the hills also ended in severe violence. When they say the people of the hills, they mean the radical settlers. That's a nickname for them. Ne'arei ha'givot in Hebrew or the people of the hills. Radical Zionist settlers who go and create outposts wherever they want to and claim the land is theirs in many cases. It's a Palestinian land, almost in all cases really, that they claim and they start building an outpost. And then later, in many cases, the Israeli authorities accept it as de facto Israeli settlement. In addition, they added, there's a growing tension between Minister Ben Gvir and the Central Command General Yehuda Fox regarding the handling of incidents of nationalist crime. About two months ago, it was revealed in Wynet and Idiot Haronot that following the tensions, a special mechanism was established by the Sheen Bet and Major Fox from West Bank Security Guard, which is subordinate to the IDF and not the police, whose job is to deal with this crime. Recently, the general also signed administrative arrest warrants against Jews in the area. Only the general can sign arrest warrants, but there are law breakers on both sides. The law is the same for everyone, both for leftists and anarchists, as well as for the youth of the hills, explain the source in detail. Now, this is very untrue, especially when it comes to the Israeli settlers and the enforcement against them. In many cases, the IDF and Israeli police forces and security forces, they participate hand in hand with Israeli settlers in bullying, attacking and killing Palestinians and harassing activists in the West Bank. Obviously, they are more free to kill and shoot to kill when it comes to the Palestinians. However, their brutality extends to peace activists, both from the Israeli side and the international side as well. They continued, establishing the anarchist treatment team is consistent with my clear policy that speaks of a fight against violators of order and determination against them. That's quoting Itamar Ben Gvir. The same anarchist elements that I see in Judea and Samaria or in Hebron are cursing the IDF soldiers, stirring up the spirits, inciting and encourage harm to Jews, thereby harming the security of the state. My perception is zero tolerance for those who harm security and settlers and the state of Israel. The Peace Now movement, they obviously responded, it's a peace movement inside of Israel. They said the attempt by convicted terrorist Ben Gvir to keep activists away from the West Bank is a dangerous fascist step taken from dark regimes. This is a transparent attempt to persecute those who expose incidents of violence, expropriation and robbery by settlers against Palestinians. People who stir up flames in the government and in the field must not be allowed to set fire to the West Bank and turn it into another fighting front. We will continue to report to the public about the settlements and fight together with the activists against violence and expropriation against Ben Gvir's anger. 
The movement looking the occupation in the eye stated, the human rights activists, a more accurate name, left activists, are in the occupied territories to protect the Palestinian population. They are not the ones causing the fragile security and stability in the region. It is precarious due to the routine of the occupation, which produces violent friction between an occupying army and a disenfranchised civilian population. It is precarious because in the territories there is one law for the Jews and another law for the Palestinians. It is precarious because the state authorities permit the blood of the Palestinians and do not enforce the law and or the international treaties to which the state of Israel is signatory. True, human rights activists sometimes also photograph and document the crimes of the occupation. This indeed greatly hinders the settlers and their helpers from perpetrating the disturbances with the Palestinians. It is not a crime, it is done for the exact opposite reason to allow the authorities to enforce the law and this certainly does not create any parallel between violent settlers to human rights activists. As this article describes, this man is extending his reach to international activists with regards to supporting Palestine and supporting the Palestinian people under occupation in the West Bank. And to remind people, the people of the West Bank have been suffering ever since 1967 from the Israeli apartheid and brutality. Many of them have hours to reach other places due to checkpoints, five, six checkpoints journeys that could take them 15 minutes if if it wasn't for checkpoints would take them five hours walls that israel built between people and families that historically were together land grabbing stealing killing innocent people abusing them on a daily basis harassing them implementing a regime of supremacy and being racist to all of the population all of this is day-to-day -day life day-to-day -day life of the Palestinian people and all of the leftist activists in Israel or peace activists from Israel and many international supporters for the Palestinian cause, they go there to simply expose what's happening to the world, which Ben Gvir and the Israeli government do not like.